Hey guys, welcome back to Cast for Bass Fishing. It's your host, David Krause. Today I'm at Walmart. Got some cash burn in a hole in my pocket. I'm gonna pick out some lures for uh, you guys to see and uh, maybe you guys could swing by your local Walmart and uh, pick up these lures too. So yeah, I'll see you there. Okay guys, I'm back. Got the stuff I wanna get. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys quick before I go and check out. But uh, yeah, so first thing we got is um, this eight pound test fire line, uh, like white braid. Got that because like I fish like kind of clear water during the summer, so I want something that's not like super noticeable. And since this is like semi clear, um, I thought like. Yeah, that should be fine. So, yeah, so that's the first thing I'm getting is this fire line. Second thing, I just saw this chartreuse cotton cordell hookless crankbait. And uh, I kind of thought, like, it's kind of cool. So, it's in a little cheap, like, clearance box, you know, like the Yum box. It was in that, but for cotton cordell. So, there's that. That's like two bucks. So, yeah. Next up, I got these two spinner baits right here. These little pond magic spinner baits. I'm gonna be fishing like small ponds here in the summer, and I need a lot more for pond fishing. So I got these two because I know there's like craws in this one pond, and this one's got like orange on it. So I was like, okay, I'll get that. And then all the ponds I fish are dark and muddy. So I got a darker bait. This is like a purple black. Like kind of like a, I don't know, it's just like a purple and black, and then it's got some blue speck speck in there. So that's the spinner baits. Next, I got a bunch of packages of soft plastics. Um, first up is the Yum Christy Craw in the green pumpkin or the California 420 color. So that's that. We've gotten these before, me and Levi from Schaefer Outdoors. Use these all the time, and they're pretty good baits, pretty solid. Uh, next up, I got this black and blue Sankos. Um, I need some Sankos because uh, I'm gonna be like doing like drop shot fishing. And I just need Sankos because I'm really low, and I don't really have a lot of black and blue like Sankos. I only have like green pumpkins. So, pick that up. It's another pack. This next thing is another pack of black and blue Senkos. This one's more of like a speck sparkle kind of blue, but it still gets more across black and blue. Yeah, so there's that. I just need some, I need Senkos. And I'm getting like a tackle warehouse order coming in. I ordered a bunch of like stuff and I think I got some Senkos. I don't really remember, but I'll unbox that for you guys later. But yeah, the last thing I'm getting is this these Yum Swim Baits. So. I love swim bait fishing, especially like soft plastic paddle tails. And uh, yeah, I usually just use the rage swimmers, but I have a bunch of those, so I don't need any more. So I thought I'd try something new to go with this. And uh, yeah, so each one of these is about $2. Oh, geez, sorry for the bush guy. So two, four, six, eight dollars. This is eight dollars, so $16. For, uh, Eighteen dollars. So the crankbait, the line, and the soft plastics are eighteen dollars. The two spinner baits are three dollars. So six dollars plus eighteen is twenty-four dollars. So it's just like a little twenty-four dollar Walmart haul. But I mean, this is something, you know, stocking up for the season coming up. So. I'll see you guys at home and I'll unbox these baits and kind of give you guys a better rundown. So, yeah, see you there. David Crosby here with Caster Bass Fishing. And uh, we're back at the house and we're going to unbox these lures real quick. So, yeah, I uh, thought we'd start off with these yum baits I got out of the clearance bin. So, let's start off with this swim bait right here. Crack this puppy open. So... This bait is, I picked it out because 
I am in need of some swim baits. I mean, I have swim baits, but I want different colors. I have normally, mainly just like pearl white ones. So I got this little green pumpkin, you know, paddle tail one. And uh, I like this one because it's got like a fat body, but also it has those little gills on the side there. And those gills can really help it like guide through the water. And uh, yeah, so this bait I would use mainly like during the summer in like dirtier water when it's kind of like got like no clouds in the sky, not a lot of wind. Um, this is the bait I would use. I'd put this on like a swim bait hook and uh, just like throw it along the bank and hope, uh, hope a bass comes up and strikes that. So that's how I would use that. And uh, really cool thing about this bait is, um, and most paddle tail swim baits is like the, they can also be used as like a trailer. So I put this on the back of like a green pumpkin, like chatterbait or a darker colored um, spinnerbait, you know, something like that. So that's how I would use this one right here. This is a pretty, pretty good looking bait. Um, it's also got some blue speck, speck in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got some blue speck and that, that can really uh, like make the sun shine off of it and make it a more like seeable bait. So yeah. That's the uh, Yum Swim Bait. I'll put the link for that in the description on Taco Warehouse. Let's move on to the next bait. We'll go with the Yum Christy Car right here. I've used these kind of cross before, and they've always been really good cross. And I'll show you why. show you why and they're really heavily scented like that garlic color that's a garlic uh, scent that's a real good scent but yeah so the reason I like these claws so much is because of these guys right here they're, they're, uh, they're claws they got like this weird hook looking thing with like a thick flap of plastic and that gives them such good action in the water it just makes them like flip so evenly and it makes it look like a real good like flipping and pitching bait. I use this all the time during the summer. And uh, I always catch huge fish, big nice fish off these. Fish love this lure. They, uh, yeah, I just flip this along the rocks and, uh, you know, kind of slowly bounce it up, drag it, and I'll make the fins go and it'll just look like it's swimming along. And uh, that'll really get them moving, get them going and uh, make them hit this bait. Uh, one thing I do with it though is I do take these guys off. Just throw those away. But yeah, that's the Young Christy Craw. I'll put the link in the description for that if you wanna go check that out. This is in the green pumpkin color. Another really solid color for some dark water. Um, yeah, dark water with like no clouds in the sky. A nice clear day. That's what I would be throwing. Um, yeah, so, do that, and, uh, the, you can also put that on the back of a jig, but I would just cut off the back of it, and then just use the front, uh, here, I'll show you real quick, cut off the back of it, and, like, weave that abdomen right here, just to, like, hook onto the jig, and, uh, yeah, that's also a really good jig trailer, because the fins kick so evenly, so, that's a real solid lure. I would really recommend that for you guys who are trying to save a couple bucks, but also catch a lot of fish. So, yeah. Next we have these two Senkos. Um, I think I'll open both of them, yeah. So, this is the black and blue with the blue speck uh, Senko. This one's a little bit longer. I think this one is the, uh, like, Five inch one, I think. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think it's five inches. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's a pretty big worm right there. Yeah, that I would Texas rig. Like that's a chunker. That's a big worm, but uh, that's a floating Yum Senko. 
Yum always makes real good Senkos. Their plastic is really nice. It's like nice and bendy so you can, uh, you know, get your hook in there. You're not going to miss a hook set. So, yeah, it also has a little box right there in the front. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little box right there. So you can tuck the front of your eye hook in there so it stays weedless. So I wouldn't rack, wacky rig this because it's just too big for that. Um, but I would Texas rig it and put like a little bullet weight on the top and uh, throw that into some like um, underneath trees and overhanging stuff because uh, bugs, like this is used to imitate like a worm or a bug or yeah, something like that. Sometimes bugs will fall off the trees and bass will come up and eat that. So you can get this to look like a bug. Um, I would use this color, black and blue, um, in like, uh, I would say like a little bit of a clear water. Um, not like all the way clear, but kind of dark, kind of clear water with some overcast. That's where I would use a dark bait like this. And then I would just flip this underneath some trees and... Bass will think it's a little bug, and uh, when you Texas rig it, the weight, or shaky head, or something like that, the weight will make it go down, and since this is floating, the tail will come up, and you just twitch your rod a little bit, and get it to bounce along the bottom, make it seem like a worm that fell into the water and is trying to swim up. The bass will see that, and it'll, it'll come and uh, eat it up real quick. So, yeah, that's the Yum, I think, 5-inch Senko. Uh, Let's keep her moving to the next bait. The next bait is another Senko. This is just like black and blue swirl. Um, it's kind of got like a black top with a blue belly. That's kind of what this bait is. This one's really scented. Like that's like an oil slick. But yeah. It's kind of got on this one like a black front and a blue back. I really like this. I would wacky rig this. Just bounce it along the water like that. Uh, that's like a classic. Uh, always like sure to catch fish kind of way to fish. But yeah. This is a, kind of a simple bait. Not much explaining. A good beginner bait. You just take a little octopus hook and hook her through the middle. And uh, bounce her along. Like use uh, light spinning gear. Um, sorry, my tripod's like all shaky. So sorry if it's like moving. But um, yeah, so that's a pretty good bait right there. Um, heavily scented. That smells like like a fish scent. Like you'd smell like a bait fish or like a cross scent. So that's that. It's, uh, so that's all the soft plastics. Let's move on to the next baits. In the best bag in the world, the Walmart bag. Uh, we'll do the U2 booty ass spinner baits that I got. Um, so, this color is called Firebug. It kind of looks like a craw, but it's got some chartreuse on there, which um, makes it look uh, real nice and. Uh, Kind of gives it some attention in the water. And uh, also it's got some orange on there. So it can kind of imitate like a crawfish. If uh, like you're fishing like a pond that you know has crawfish. I would use this for sure. And like a kind of overcast day. Um, the sun's out though but it's kind of overcast. Uh, not really that hot out but yeah. I would use that bait. Just throw it along the bank or throw it deep. You can really use spinner baits in a lot of places. Um, yeah, that's how I would use that. That's the Booyah Pond Magic 316th ounce. Um, it's called the Firebug with a spinner bait. So, yeah. This next one is another spinner bait. Real small, 316th ounce. Um, this one's like purple and black. It's called a June Bug. Um, this would uh, actually be a pretty good crappie lure um, for like fishing in the night. I know it's for bass, but I mean, you could probably catch some crappie on that. But um, yeah, you just, uh, this is another real good pond lure. 
as you know, like there's small bait fish and craws and uh, stuff like that. Um, something like that will always get them. Uh, like overcast is the best conditions to use a spinnerbait. Overcast and it's kind of humid out. That's when I would use a spinnerbait. Um, you just drag that along. Um, if you fish in a pond like along the bank, you want to reel these in real slow so that they can sink down and uh, swim right closer to the bottom so that the fish will see them. But yeah, so those are the spinnerbaits. Next up, we got Chartreuse Cotton Cordell uh, Lipless Crankbait. This is great for uh, uh, like search fishing, like if you're new to a spot. Get something like this, like a bright crankbait. It can be a square bill, lipless. Just don't make it like a ridiculous, like deep diving crankbait. But yeah, something like that, like a little chartreuse color. That's great for a lot of conditions, like uh, spring fishing when it's kind of cold out. Catch fish during the summer. I'd throw something like this during like a uh, bird blue skies. You know, perfect conditions out. I'd throw something like this. And, get them to go after that but yeah there's not much explaining for that that's a pretty simple lure uh, a lot of rattling it really reminds me of a rattle trap how the body is shaped but yeah that's the cotton cordell uh, lipless crankbait and it's just chartreuse that's all it says for it but yeah it's like the sexy shad by strike king so yeah, that's a pretty solid bait. Moving on to the last thing. This isn't actually a lure. Doesn't really need much explaining. Just some 8 pound Berkeley Fireline. This is like white braid. I got it because um, I need some braid for my spinning reel. And uh, I uh, wanted something that's not like too noticeable. But uh, it's still pretty good. That's the Berkeley Fireline. 8 pound. 125 yards on that and uh, I know in Walmart I said it was eight bucks but it was actually fifteen dollars I didn't see that but uh, yeah it's pretty good uh, I've used this kind of braid before it always performs but yeah so Berkeley Fireline go check it out I'll try and put all this stuff in the links in the description um, yeah make sure you guys comment whatever you want to see next um, and we'll see you in the next one, this is Ben Cast for Bass Fishing.